Thank you very much. Mr. Gor Gorodo, am I pronouncing your name correctly? You are. Great, thank you. Good afternoon, Chair, Ranking Member, and distinguished members of the committee. I am humbled and honored to have been nominated by President Joe Biden to be the next United States Alternate Executive Director for the World Bank. I would also like to personally thank the Chairman, Chairman Menendez, for his very kind and moving introduction, for which I'm deeply grateful. I appreciate this opportunity to serve at such a critical time for both our nation and the world. I want to recognize several important individuals in my life without whom this would not be possible and who are present here today. I'd like to begin by thanking my wife of 13 years and my partner in all things for 19, Bianca Ferrer Corordo, and our two children, David, who is here present, and Catalina, who I'm sure is watching from home. I would also like to pause to recognize members of my family who are not here today, but who have played a pivotal role in my life. I'm tremendously appreciative to my mother, Marta Serramor, who was reunited with our creator seven years ago today, and to all my extended family for their love, sacrifice, and unwavering support throughout the years. As the chairman noted, I'm the son of Cuban exiles who fled a communist revolution, risking it all and leaving everything behind in search of freedom, opportunity, and the American dream. This great nation received them with open arms and gave them a fighting chance to make a better life for themselves and their family. And for these reasons, we have always been indebted to our country and sought to pay it forward. The call to public service was instilled in me by my family and by my faith. My father, Francisco Gorordo, served as a police officer for more than 25 years, and my mother worked in education for over two decades. They nurtured in me a purpose-driven resolve to ensure that we live up to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25. To feed the hungry, heal the sick, and welcome the stranger. My Jesuit education and upbringing further cultivated my vocation to service, taking part in humanitarian missions in Latin America during my high school years, and then founding a non-governmental organization while I was in college called Roots of Hope, which still exists today and focuses on empowering Cuban youth to become the authors of their own futures. Following my graduation from Georgetown University, I proudly served in the U.S. Departments of Commerce, State, and Homeland Security during the administration of President George W. Bush. In 2011, I was appointed as a White House Fellow by President Barack Obama and served in the White House Office of Public Engagement and Intergovernmental Affairs, working with industry leaders on economic competitiveness programs. There, I developed and organized the first ever White House Conference on Connecting the Americas, which included participation of business and government leaders from throughout the Americas in lead up to the 2012 Summit of the Americas. In 2013, I returned home to Miami to pursue a career in entrepreneurship, and I served as CEO of three mission-driven technology companies as an investor and advisor at two venture capital funds with global mandates, one in healthcare and another in infrastructure. I believe this experience has prepared me to take on the important responsibilities that the President has nominated me for at the World Bank. The bank's mission is to end extreme poverty and promote shared prosperity in a sustainable way. Given Russia's unprovoked war in Ukraine, which has worsened food insecurity around the world, the prolonged global pandemic, and the rising threat of authoritarian regimes like China, the bank remains a critically important institution to create sustainable and inclusive economic growth and resiliency for the most vulnerable, and to promote prosperity for people around the world. If confirmed, I will use my experience to help advance U.S. development, foreign policy, and national security priorities, while also expanding markets for U.S. products and services. Drawing on my fiduciary experience as an investor, executive, and board member of both for-profit and non-profit companies, I resolved to be a good steward of our tax dollars to ensure the bank's programs yield the greatest return on investment and uphold our values. I will also seek to engage with a diverse range of important stakeholders, including members of both parties, to ensure the interests of all Americans are represented in the bank's boardroom and projects. Moreover, I will draw on my two decades of experience in management and oversight to promote the greatest degree of integrity, transparency, and accountability in the bank's operations. As a first-generation American whose family suffered at the hands of a communist totalitarian regime, 
I am deeply committed to honoring, protecting, and advancing the cause of democracy, human rights, and economic prosperity here and abroad. If confirmed, I will work relentlessly to uphold U.S. values and advance our interests around the world. Again, I'm so grateful to you all for your consideration of my nomination, and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.